Well, hello, beautiful people. It's me, Sam, from your friendly neighborhood, Dunder Mifflin Paper Company, and I am here to review the new film, Wonka, the new film by Paul King. If you don't know who Paul King is, uh, he made the films Paddington and Paddington 2. That's what he's most known for. Uh, now he's making Wonka with Timothy Chalamet. All right, so one big question that I know a lot of people are going to have, how does this compare to his previous films, Paddington 1 and 2? Um, look, I, I like Paddington 1 a lot. I think it's just very charming. I love Paddington 2. It is easily one of my favorite uh, family films ever made. I think it's one of the greats. It's one of those, uh, it fits in one of those categories where the sequel is better than the original. It's just fantastic. And so with Wonka here, I don't think it's as good as Paddington 2, but I think it's on par with Paddington 1. This is just a charming, delightful film. I had a smile on my face throughout. There were times where I was laughing. There were times where I was, you know, singing along with it, tapping my shoes because, you know, the the music is, is really well. With the music, I'm just going to say, and this is just my opinion, 50% of it really worked for me. And the other half, it wasn't bad, but it just was merely forgettable uh Tim 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 <laughs> Timothy Chalamet is is great it's so uh so good uh having him in a very light-hearted family film you know I'm so used to seeing him in very big dramatic roles like Dune or Bones and all and uh yeah he fits the role perfectly his singing uh it's it's solid it's not great but it's not bad either um yeah there are some cheesy moments but that's that's expected visually the film is stunning um i think it's it's very colorful as you can see based off this now one big selling point that a lot of people were going to have was oompa loompa there by hugh grant i've seen some things where uh the way they portray him here is a little freaky i didn't mind i i actually liked it i thought it was very fitting the cgi on it i it wasn't bad. I had I had read some reviews where a lot of people were saying the uh, CGI was pretty bad. It wasn't bad at all. Um, in terms of Hugh Grant, look, if you're going into the movie, which I know some people are going to be primarily for the Oompa Loompa, you know, because they, they love the Oompa Loompa. Um, the movie runs at about an hour and 51 minutes or so. So just under two hours. Um, it doesn't feel too long. It doesn't feel too short. But I'm I'm letting you know it's not a spoiler. His character there, the Oompa Loompa, uh, he doesn't come into the movie until the hour mark, so halfway through. Now, that being said, up until that that first hour, I was enjoying myself. Uh, you know, I was having a great time, but he does elevate the film. He does make it even better than what it already is. Um, he's funny. He's he's <laughs> has a wicked sense of humor, and they show him just enough, but I do wish... And I do felt I, I do feel like they could have shown him a little more, but that's just a minor gripe with me. Uh, the supporting cast is great. Everyone has really good chemistry. The little girl, the other uh, te tenants in the little apartment that he stays at are just delightful. Uh, Keegan Michael Key, I think that's from Key and Pill. Um, I, I thought he was great. He was hilarious. He he brought some of the biggest laughs. Uh, in, the, in the theater. This movie, like I said before, is charming. Uh, it's kind of inspirational. And I got teary eyed a couple of times, especially towards the end, because, you know, uh, without going into spoilers, you know, uh, his relationship with his mom. So overall, this wasn't a great film, but it met my expectations. Uh, and I think this is the perfect family film to watch during the holidays. I just thought, yeah, man, it's just it's just a very charming little movie. I liked it a lot. It's a good one. Uh, it's rare we get movies like this that just simply want to warm your heart, especially during the holidays and put a smile on your face. So for that, I'm feeling a very, very, very light eight out of 10 for Wonka. Uh, it did really well at the box office and we think it made 39 million. I think it got good word of mouth. I think it's going to pick up even more uh, steam, you know, coming into the holidays because this is a, you know, a perfect little holiday movie, a uh, movie you want to watch with your family and friends. So, guys, let me know what you think. Did you already watch it? Uh, just comment and leave a like.
Thanks. Take care.